Hi, this is Cornerstone calling. We wanted to remind you that we are here to assist you with your situation. We have quite a few options available to you. It's important that we hear from you soon. Our friendly representatives are here to help you Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Friday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. We hope to hear from you soon. With us also through this morning is Peter Hackens, who had, uh, who had been covering from NBC uh, News Space Center here, and he's down there now with, uh, with the models that have made it to uh, spacecraft. Pete, you want to do a little uh, recap? Well, uh, it's, uh, I think we've gone over it a number of times. I might point out one or two things, Hugh. Uh, it has been mentioned that there was some fault with one or more of the thrusters, that is to say the off thruster or the roll thruster or many or some or all of them. Uh, I, I think we ought to stress that it's really uh, still far too early to pinpoint any kind of trouble. America's Gemini 8 space team is safe for the destroyer Leonard Mason steaming toward an evening landfall at Okinawa in the Pacific Ocean.
And My uncle Paul, a marvelous, brilliant man, but he had lost his legs during World War II. And one day, as we were sitting there um, on the coral rock, Tavernier Key, I remember it was, fishing, he turns to me and he says, Jeannie, scratch my toe. And I'm absolutely appalled, and I say, Uncle Paul, you haven't got a toe. He says, I know that, but scratch it anyway, it itches. I said, oh no, even at six I knew this was a little perverse, you know. He says, scratch it, darn it, it itches. And I looked around and there was nobody there but he and me and the fishes, so I, sort of in the vicinity of his toe, I began to scratch the air. He says, ah, oh, thank you very much. I said, Uncle Paul, you haven't got a toe. He says, I know that, but my brain doesn't. It itches anyway. It relates to what are called the sensory cells in the motor homunculus. Many of you who have seen physiological texts have seen pictures of a little man lying across the brain. Have you ever seen that picture, neurological texts? With large eyes, large stomach, large digestive system, small hands. That is called the motor homunculus. That actually is merely a metaphoric drawing of corresponding to parts of the brain different functions exist. In the last few years, we have discovered something in this area of the brain, which is called the sensory cells of the motor homunculus. We've also learned that you can learn how to activate these cells, and once you do that, which we're about to do, you will be able to greatly improve skills, tasks, professional forms, as well as many other things, as well as improve the body image. And down. Uh, real body again, stretch. And down. Uh, real body again, stretch. It'll be fully present in the fullness of that stretch. And uh, In the kinesthetic body now, stretch. Get out in aisles, and I will do what I can. Yeah, really spread out. You want to use the stage, use the stage. We have no time for self-consciousness. No time. <laughs> yeah, come on up on the stage. Come on. Vanny, Vanny. That's a good. Okay, now. And down. Uh, real body again. body again, stretch, it'll be fully present in the fullness of that stretch. In the kinesthetic body now, stretch. Real body stretch. Kinesthetic body, just as vividly. Thank <laughs> you. 
feet of 1B rocket standing on 127 feet of pedestal to make up the deficit between that smaller rocket and the big Saturn V that normally is launched from here. This one's powerful enough, though, about 1.64 million pounds of thrust to be generated during takeoff. The spacecraft weight limit is sort of interesting. This morning it should be no more than 13,500 pounds. Mission control and the engineers estimated now weighs 
Roger that. You're looking real good.